What is going on guys, DBG here, and honestly, i not really in much of a mood to play this game right now, and there's a reason for it. One, actually the servers aren't as bad as they have been um, previously on this system, so, we're sorry, in Europe. So the servers had, are a lot better today than they have been realistically since probably Friday or Saturday. Apparently they're slightly playable and unlimited now, which is a good sign, so, you never know, people might be starting to get a little bit bored of it in EU and it might be picking up a little bit. However, something happened today that I'm not even necessarily making this video because I think it's gonna change anything. I'm making this video because just as a warning for people. So Lance, if you guys don't know, these packs are right here, the buzzer beater packs. You guys can see, I press triangle right here and all the cards are here. So there's the Pages, the Activists, the Kemen Matumbo, there's Eiji and Lian and Stefan Marbury. However, these packs were released as scam packs for a long, long time. So lads, basically last night they released these packs, they leaked these packs accidentally. So we all knew that this page was coming, we didn't know who else was in the packs, but they accidentally leaked the packs. Which wasn't the biggest deal in the world because it was leaked for about five minutes, I'm not even sure if you could buy the packs, and even if you um, could buy the packs, wasn't the biggest th deal in the world because Maybe you got to open one pack and maybe, like, yeah, it still was a scam, but it was a very, very small scale scam. However, today, it took 15 minutes before they released any cards in these packs. 15 minutes. So if you guys are looking at, so as of right now, these cards should be out 47 minutes, which means that there should be three hours and 13-ish minutes, or three hours and 12 minutes left on these cards. But if you got a buzzer beater, Pages Diakovic, Three hours, 33 minutes. So it was 20 minutes before Apasia was pulled. Three hours, 34 minutes. Like you guys can see how many of them there are. How many of like, Stefan Marbury's there. Most people open these packs when they first come out. Like 20 minutes, literally 20 minutes after these cards were meant to be out, they were released into the market. It took, tw it was 20 minutes of these cards not being in packs. And what I'm gonna talk about a little bit in this video is how to not, how to kind of prevent this from happening and what 2K should do. And honestly, if 2K don't do this, I will have just completely lost all hope. I've lost all hope anyway, because this is not the first time, it's not the last time 2K have done it. Because 2K actually earlier on in the year, it was spotlight packs. I think, what was the spotlight pack with Drew Holiday? I'm trying to have a look, was it Iguodala spotlight packs? It was Kareem, well it definitely wasn't Kareem. It, oh no, I think it was the, um, the Korean packs. It was either the Korean packs or the Iguodala packs. And instead of having Kareem cards in the packs, they only had Iguodala cards. I think that was what it was. So I remember I opened a bunch of Korean Abdul Jabbar packs, except I got like five Drew Holidays and I got a bunch of all these like random cards. I'm like, these aren't meant to be in packs because 2K accidentally released a lot wrong cards in packs. Did they refund anybody? No. But what they did today, as far as I know, this is the first time that 2k have done this where they release the packs onto the market and if you click triangle for view buzzer beater cards nothing came up like you could hit triangle and the cards didn't come up which meant that they weren't in packs which meant they literally weren't in packs like you could check the market and as i've shown earlier um obviously it was 20 minutes before any of them were pulled so the cards were legitimately not in packs for 20 minutes and funnily enough the mo most people open these packs during the 20 minutes time. Most people will open the packs when they first come out. So what 2K have done is they have scammed thousands, if not tens of thousands of people. They've straight up scammed them. They've scammed them. And while a small proportion of those tens of thousands would kind of know what's going on, would be in the know, would be um kind of in tune with what's going on in my team, maybe you'd be looking at Twitter to see the cards aren't in packs. But the vast majority of these people were unknowingly scammed. The vast majority of these people would have just opened these packs. Maybe someone had a couple of, a little bit of VC, like I have 39k VC left on this account right here. And they might have said, oh, let's open these packs. I like Paige Stiakovic. Didn't even bother, to pre didn't even know the press triangle or didn't bother to check the auction house and just thought, oh, I got nothing in the packs. When in reality, they've been scammed. So there's, this is an absolute joke. And it's one of those situations where, again, it happens, mistakes happen, but this many mistakes should not happen. And the fact is, is that 
I can guarantee you that people don't get refunds. And if people do get refunds or they do get, they're probably not going to get refunds. They might get extra packs. If people do go and get the extra packs, then all I'm going to say is fair play to um, 2K for actually trying. But what are the odds that that happens? And realistically, what are the odds that that happens if this video doesn't get made? Like the reason why I had to make the video about the glitch yesterday, at least LD is talking about the glitch now. At least the guys behind the game are, are acknowledging the glitch exists. And it's actually annoying that these type of videos have to be made for them to address all of this stuff publicly. It is actually annoying because straight away, if these cards weren't in packs, if this was any other game mode, heck, even if this was FIFA, if this was FIFA, as much as people like to complain about EA, if this happened in FIFA, where a card wasn't in packs, they'd acknowledge it. They wouldn't just sweep it under the rug like it was nothing and expect us to forget. And to be honest, people will forget. People talk with their wallets. People will be complaining about this right now. Buzzer beater, Peja Stiakovic. And those same people are going to pay $200 on VC and open packs on Friday. They're going to be the same people that complain about these cards. What It, doesn't, it literally does not matter what we get tomorrow. We could get the five best spotlight sim players in the game and people are still going to complain about that and then yet they're still going to speak with their wallets no matter what and buy things on friday so people can complain all they want but if you're continuing to speak with your wallet um or the only way to actually do something is to speak with your wallet and not buy vc i bought vc day one i haven't bought vc since like that's kind of way it is the reason why i have 39 kmt is i played a hell of a lot of uh play now online on this account that's kind of where this v a lot of this vc accumulated from but it's just 2K. It is just 2K. And the scary thing is, is that this exact video, like talking about 2K scamming people by not putting cards in packs, they've done it so many times. In 2K18, it was even worse. They didn't put an, a Galax or a Amethyst Allen Iverson or Vince Carter in packs for a day. They didn't put a Ray Allen in packs for a day. Like it was even worse in 2K18. At least we haven't seen this too much this year. But you know what? We shouldn't be seeing it at all. And yeah, I get it, mistakes happen. But as soon as people realized this was a, this was happening, they should have apologized. Like, not even apologized, or just let people know. Because at least tweeting it out, or putting, um, putting it somewhere in the game, that, I don't know, maybe these packs were glitched. At least that means that they care. They're not trying to sweep it under the rug. But you know what? We know they don't. We know they don't. And we know that there are people, for a fact, in 2K that do care. But they're not the ones that have the power to really do much about it. So, all I'm going to say is I feel bad for whoever the next community manager is going to be. Because whoever the next community manager is going to be it has absolutely no um, input on the game. They have absolutely nothing to do with anything to do with what happens in the game. But yet, they're going to be the fall guy. They're going to be the new Ronnie. They're going to be the new fall guy. Because it's a job, like, it is going to be a thankless job. And I cannot... I do not know who in their like in their right mind would go for a, a job like that in a company that is as ne neglectful of their player base as 2K is with NBA 2K. There are a core group of people that work on the game that are very, I care a lot. And it's evident. It is evident. Like fan favorite series too. It's very, very evident that guys like Mike Stauffer are in the are in like my chats um, on streams. They're looking out for cards that the community love, which is why we got our Jeff Green card, Dean Wade, I don't know who asked for Joe Smith, but why we got MPJ, why we got J.R. Smith, people were asking for these cards, Gerald Green. Like there is definitely people. The problem is, is that the people that actually can make the difference, like programming stuff properly into the game and making it work, we don't actually have a line of communication with them. And they're the ones, and it's going to be other people taking the blame. So, yeah, that, that is pretty much it. Like, 2K continue to do this. This has been maybe the 10th time over the last three years that they've just released scams. And there's no other way to put it. If you've advertised packs, actually, technically they didn't scam. They just released buzzer beater packs, and because there was no, you couldn't press triangle, they didn't technically advertise that any card were in these packs. So, you know what? Maybe we scammed ourselves. Maybe maybe it's our fault. Maybe it's our fault. And realistically, if someone went on to 2K support, they will probably tell you it's your fault if this happened. If this happened to you, 
they will tell you it's your fault or there's no guarantee of getting the cards. Or the odds can change whenever. So, so there was a 0 0.00000 continuous percent chance. An impossibility. But you know what? Uh, it says they can twe tweak the odds as they want for cards. And for the fact is that for high rated cards, their set odds are less than 2%. And 2% could, less than 2% could be 0%. So, yeah. Um, maybe 2K haven't done anything wrong. And you better believe that in their TOS, they're going to have, they have something about this. Well, not even in their TOS, in the user agreement, they have something about not, not being responsible if people get scammed in this way. So, that's how to stop it. First of all, before you buy packs, press triangle to make sure the cards are in packs. Second of all, make sure you go to the auction house and you check that the cards are there. If the cards aren't there, don't open the packs. But anyway, yeah, that's the video. Not a video I wanted to make. I actually really don't like making videos like this, but for th it's scary that the fact is for things like this to be addressed, vi these videos need to be made, which is annoying. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Mm. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrum.